Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for x. We're given the cube root of the quantity 7x is equal to the square root of x, and x does not equal zero. This is day seven of our algebraic February calendar. For the month of February, we're gonna solve 28 algebraic problems. Looks like there's some pretty cool ones here. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. So for the first step, I wanna rewrite these as rational exponents. Here are the notes right here. If you ever have the bth root of x to the a, you can rewrite that as x to the a over b, where the denominator is the root and the numerator is the exponent. And in this specific case, there is no exponent, so we can actually use this version of the notes. The bth root of x equals x to the power of 1 over b. So for example, the square root of x would be x to the power of 1 half, the cube root of x would be x to the power of 1 third, fourth root would be x to the power of 1 fourth, and so on. We can rewrite this cube root of the quantity 7x as 7x to the power of 1 third. And that's going to be equal to the square root of x, which is x to the 1 half. So now we've written them in rational exponent form. For the next step, I don't really like fractions, so let's get rid of these denominators. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. So if we do both sides of the equation to the power of 6, these denominators will go away. And now we can use these notes. Anytime you have something like the quantity x to the a to the power of c, that's the same thing as x to the a times c. So this 7x to the 1 third to the 6 will be 7x to the 1 third times 6. And on the other side, this x to the 1 half to the 6 is going to be x to the 1 half times 6. And now on the left hand side, 1 third times 6 is 6 thirds, which is 2. So this will be 7x squared. And on the right hand side, 1 half times 6 is 6 halves, which is 3. So we end up with x cubed. Now to simplify the left hand side, we're going to use these notes here. This says the quantity m times n to the b is m to the b, n to the b. The b distributes to both of these. So this quantity of 7x squared can be rewritten as 7 squared x squared. And that's still equal to x cubed. And now 7 squared is equal to 49. Let's set everything equal to zero. We're going to subtract 49x squared from both sides. On the left hand side, these will cancel each other out. So we're left with zero. And on the right hand side, we have x cubed minus 49x squared. Both of these terms contain at least an x squared, so we can factor out x squared. So for the first term, x squared times what gives us x cubed? That's x. And then for the second term, x squared times what gives us 49x squared? That'll be 49. So now we have 0 equals this times this. That means either this equals 0 or this equals 0. For this one on the left, if we square root both sides, we end up with x equals 0. And up here we were told x cannot equal 0, so this is not a valid solution. And then on this one, if we add 49 to both sides, we end up with x equals 49. And this is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. So this was kind of a fun one. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's question. It's the quantity 2 to the 3 to the 0 to the 2 minus the quantity 2 to the 3 whole thing to the 0 to the 2 minus the quantity 2 to the 3 to the 0 whole thing squared minus the quantity 2 to the 3 to the 0 to the 2. This looks like a fun one. How exciting.